как мы должны может мы не знаем потому что это прописано может быть давать ему документы для национальных да, да, программ и проектов а реализуются естественно двигают и развивают нашу страну но как мы знаем управление чем-либо продуктом процессом проектом и так далее все равно требует профессионализма когда эти проекты реализуются а, с участниками многих стран, возникает очень много нюансов, о которых, наверное, не знают те, кто не сталкивается с этими вопросами, начиная от языковых барьеров, заканчивая культурными различиями, а еще часовыми поясами, да, а еще и разными подходами к организации деятельности. И как это все удается нашим, особенно госкорпорациям, которые действительно часто инициируют, управляют и успешно реализуют крупные проекты. Вот, ну, честно, с учетом того, что мы анализируем опыт наших конкурсантов, поверьте мне, это не помогают действительно инструменты проектной деятельности. У нас очень много действительно участников из крупных наших компаний. Росатом, Газпром, Нефти, различные э, наши организации, банковская сфера. Ну, то есть многие даже закрытые организации, предприятия, и когда понимаешь, что все-таки действительно есть повсюду правила, подходы, методологии, которые люди знают, реализуют, сами же меняют, создают для того, чтобы добиваться лучшего успеха, восхищаешься все-таки возможностями. И русского человека организовать масштабный международный проект, и возможностями инструментов проекта управления. И поэтому я с большим удовольствием хочу предоставить слово коллегам, которые сейчас реализуют очень серьезный масштабный проект и для России, и не только для России, и для нефта. И с большим удовольствием представлю наших коллег, наших гостей из Арабской республики Египет. Мухаммед Саид Вида, руководитель проекта по сооружению атомной электростанции ЭТБА. И, а... и еще подобные проекты, которые реализуют Thank you very much. First of all, good morning everybody. It's my pleasure to participate with you today in this forum, the San Petersburg Forum. Uh, the project uh, is uh, based on the intergovernmental agreement uh, signed between Russia and Federation and Egypt in 2015. It's consists it's the first project in the uh, first nuclear program project in Egypt and in Africa. Also it's based on uh, Four units based on the core plan as a reference plan from definition T. Uh, the output of the it's uh, 4,800. It's expected to have hundreds and hundreds of contracts to implement the project and also to uh, receive more than uh, 10 million uh, subjects and materials, objects to the construction site to implement the project upon or based in its uh, schedule and plans. 
It's give me a great pleasure to, or to to share with you what's our what's the key milestone that we achieved in uh, previously and what's the goals that we need to uh, to consider about to to achieve together um, be, be, before the end of this year. Uh, also, it give me the opportunity to thank our senior management and our working groups, the experts from Egypt and from Russia, that by their efforts and their working, we are. We achieved our goals and we are going to continue to achieve our goals uh, before the end of this year. So previously, we achieved the first complete of Unit 1 in July 2022. Then we achieved the first complete of Unit 2 after getting the regulator license for the construction in November 2022. We also in May started the first complete of Unit 3 and uh, we successfully uh, finalized all the steps in manufacturing the core texture, which is the first complete equipment. For the for unit one and successfully received the equipment and at the Taba site as to be installed before the end of this year. Next slide. So before the end of this year, we need to achieve again together as a working group uh, to uh, to install the full culture of unit one. It's planned to be uh, before the end of this year and after getting the mineral license, or a regulator license for the construction permit. Uh, before the end of this year, it's also planned to achieve the first complete of Unit 4. When we achieve the first complete of Unit 4, that means that the Egypt, with its four units, uh, complete the phase of all the preparation work and move from the preparation phase to the, to the neutral construction phase, which is under the agency, could be assigned as a nuclear or the nuclear based construction phase started for the whole unit together. And that's the needs that why we need to, to think technologically about what are the solutions that we need to implement and to uh, overcome all the challenges to get all the uh, participants for the all units at the same time. So that will lead us for the next slide that we will need the information management system as a one of the technological tool that will help us in supporting the management decision making, recording, archiving, and reporting of different project reports, enable the parties to track their respective obligations to complete the job within a certain time or the required time, and to facilitate the communication between the parties on ordinary level, managerial level, working group level, consultants that will help take the decision on the right. And this is will be part of the information management system. It's part of the multi D system, which is with me. So thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Nizar. I, I didn't say it, but uh, Dr. Nizar is the uh, head of the whole project uh, from Egypt side. So, uh, Rosatom has the EDC contract, uh, meaning that Rosatom uh, is doing engineering, procurement, and construction. And uh, from Egypt side, it's the uh, owner side. And uh, uh, Dr. Nidar is managing from the owner the whole project. And they will then, after construction is over, uh, will uh, maintain the operation stage which is 60 years or 70 years, it's uh, quite long and uh, it's a very uh, uh, charitable process. So, uh, uh, information management system is a system which uh, allows us uh, the uh, interaction uh, between Rosatom and the owner, the DPA. Uh, it collects all the information, accumulates all the information during this process. However, in order to uh, uh, collect the information in a proper way, of course, uh, we need a lot of different systems and all business processes, at least all four business processes should be fully digitalized. And uh, that's why uh, several years ago, uh, we decided 
understand that uh, in those countries to uh, help our own development, and uh, we created a multi digital platform, which is, uh, of course, not only software. Uh, this is a project management methodology inside uh, of it, which uh, allows us to prevent the experience which we have already had uh, in NPP, uh, in NPP uh, projects uh, for more than 50 years. And uh, the algorithms inside this instrument uh, uh, have a database which uh, invite us about the decision, decisions that we uh, are making during the process. So you can see some uh, instruments here. I will not uh, dwell on. The first thing is this is intermediate resource. And uh, one more, one important thing is the process is put data center and uh, data is collected throughout all the processes, starting from engineering, then procurement, construction, and commissioning, data, 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 and as a result, we have uh, the uh, data model, information model, uh, which uh, then uh, helps uh, to operate the NPP during uh, the whole uh, life cycle. So, uh, between our partners, between Russian Federation and Egypt, we now they have uh, one source of truth, uh, digital source of truth, uh, and uh, we can have all analytics, all reports inside. And what we are trying to do is, as much as possible, to exclude human factors. From all the process. So uh, basically that's it. And I hope that now as further digital technologies will help us to manage this project to produce in Egypt the pure energy which will make people's lives better. Thank you.